I'm JP Walker, I'm 36. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. Every year I kind of try to start off the exact same way. We go up to this spot, is what we call it, this little place in the mountains in uh, Big Cottonwood Canyon. And it's just a little TF. It's basically like a couple pieces of metal just set up really basic so we can kind of just ride, rebuild like our foundation, just like relearn all the basics and stuff like that. But it's kind of like, I don't know, we camp up there and like build little fires every day and cook food and just kind of try to hang out in the mountains and hike and just kind of reclimatize to the mountains and hiking and just being on your board. So that that's what I like to do every year. I've been doing that like a long time, like almost like 12 years, like kind of the exact same thing. For my boot, I like uh, simple things, I guess, just like simple, light, not a lot of bells and whistles. That's kind of what I've always been about. And uh, really all I do is I kind of, if I'm filming, I'll just kind of put them on and like lightly lace them up and just kind of kick around in them and shovel up a jump or set up whatever I'm setting up. And then I kind of, when it comes down to it, I like to lace them up, like just not tight, but just get them like super dialed because then it's kind of like, I'm not like mentally go time, I guess, you know, like I'm actually lacing these up to like get on this thing or whatever. So, like I obviously ride a lot of different types of terrain, but I just stick to my same boot, that JP Walker Light. Yeah, I like the Blase pant. Actually, I kind of run all the pants and all the stuff with the outerwear. I kind of, you know, I've got my signature stuff that I really like. I like, I got that sick uh, Blase Desert Camo pant that I've been running and everyone seems really hyped on, but I kind of like to just, I actually get like a bunch of gear at the start of the season and I just kind of like, I put together like kind of mentally like kits I like, and then if I get like a couple shots in a kit, I kind of like move that aside and pull out the new kit. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like almost like I'm trying to work through these kits to like build my shot list up and just, I don't know, I like to kind of just all the gear is good, so I kind of like to move all through it and showcase it all. Yeah, I've obviously been filming video parts for a long time, and it's gone through a lot of changes. Like, one of the big things is the technology now, like all the digital stuff. Like, back then, it was, uh, it was all, like, movie film, so, like, actual, like a reel of film. Like, the guy had in, like, a big-ass, heavy, like, 60-pound metal box that he had to film you with like that that was kind of like like I'd always watched the like these Mac Dog videos and stuff and never really realized that these guys were like the videos always looked good and stuff but it it wasn't because it was videos of film it was movie film so like the first time I ever like shot with Mac Dog it's like he's pulling out these big cameras and there's no like playback to watch the shot and it's like oh hold on I gotta stop and take a five minute ten minute break to reload film like while you're like in the middle of trying to like knock down a trick and then at the same time it was really expensive too like a roll of film was like a hundred bucks and it's like I guess depending on what you're doing that's like I can't remember what it was but it's not that many tries per roll of film so you're kind of like trying to get something like mentally or like got like a tab in your head like oh my god like what am I costing this guy trying to get this lip slide on this rail and like full panic you know and then you do it you think you got it like and you can't even like go over and check it it's like you gotta and you can't even check it like that later that night you gotta like send the thing off to like some place in Hollywood that develops movie film and get it back like two months later and hope that it was good so that's like that's crazy now that you can just like you can get like on the spot like replays dudes are like even so good with their cameras now they give you the little like fucking remap as they play it back so it's just like you're seeing it already edited down and stuff like slow-mo so I don't know that's like uh I think that's that's one of the reasons why I think like the progression of snoring is just kind of uh, accelerated so much lately